Press start Daggerfall over Snow. Elder Scrolls Online promises to be fully voiced, have great graphics, raids, co-op, and the whole shebang. Question is, will it be full of bugs? Well, you're gonna be left to see that at the release. There was a half hour demo at E3 showing off different parts of the Elder Scrolls Online. I looked through it, and actually, not too bad, given it isn't a demo. There was a half hour video at E3 showing off different parts of the Elder Scrolls Online, and it looks like solo players will enjoy themselves with this one, as the goal is to allow players to live out their own story. Alright. Sounds like an Elder Scrolls game. Sounds like a MMO. This is, this could work. The story will be set a thousand years ahead of Skyrim, so no dragons, but your soul does get stolen at the beginning of the game. So, hey, you aren't a prisoner that escapes something. How nice. There is time for them to change that. Don't tell Xenomax or Bethesda. The short and dirty is, in trying to get back your soul, you save the world in the process. Convenient. Graphics-wise, it does look nice, but good graphics doesn't make a good game. There was a clip at the end of the presentation that showed some crazy PvP, but no actual demos. And it is worth watching if you're excited for some Elder Scrolls MMO magic. As far as MMORPGs goes, this looks like it will need a lot of work to carve out a niche in the high fantasy online market, but it is possible. They have the fans, they have the stories, but will they have enough content to keep it going and to get that Elder Scrolls feel? Time will tell. Another thing time is slowly telling us about are the next-gen systems. A 56-page document leaked today that may have revealed Microsoft's five-year plan and more about the 720. That's next on Press Start Video Game Radio.